Hello everyone. In this video, we'll be learning that how do we classify a quadrilateral into a parallelogram, rectangle, rhombus and square by using the distance method. So let us first see that what are the properties of all these figures. So first is a parallelogram and if you look at this parallelogram, you will find out that the opposite side lengths are equal. So we can say that AB distance will be equals to CD distance and BC distance will be equals to AD distance. And in case of parallelogram, the length of diagonals AC and BD will not be equal. So on the basis of distance, we can have these relations. In case of parallelogram, AB is equals to CD and BC is equals to AD. And also the diagonal length is not equal. Now if I have to make rectangle out of this parallelogram, what should I do? In case of rectangle, all the four angles are 90 degrees. So if I pull this side, you will find out that this parallelogram has now converted into a rectangle. And if you look at the properties of this rectangle, you will find out that opposite side lengths are equal. And in case of rectangle, the diagonal lengths that is AC and BD, these lengths are also equal. So if we find out that the opposite lengths of sides of a quadrilateral are equal, then we can say that it is a parallelogram for sure. And if the diagonal length are also equal, then the quadrilateral is a rectangle. Now, a third is a rhombus. Now, in case of rhombus, we know that all the four side lengths are equal to each other. But the diagonal length are not equal. So, in case of rhombus, we can say that if all the four sides are coming to be equal, then we'll say that it's a rhombus. And what would I have to do if I have to convert this rhombus into a square? In case of square 2, all the four angles are 90 degrees. So if I pull this side again, then you will find out that this rhombus has converted into a square. So in case of square, all the four sides are equal and the diagonal lengths that is AC and BD, these lengths are also equal. So by these two results, we can say that if all the four sides are coming to be equal, then we can say that the quadrilateral is a rhombus for sure. And if its diagonals are also coming to be equal, then it will be a special case of rhombus. That is, it will be a square. So let's solve this question on the basis of it. Now we are given A, B, C, D points all in order forming a quadrilateral and we have to classify this quadrilateral into a parallelogram, rectangle, rhombus and a square. So let's apply these conditions to find out that whether it is one of them or not. So first step is to apply the distance formula and get the lengths of all the sides and the diagonals. Now let's draw an arbitrarily quadrilateral by these coordinates as the vertices of this quadrilateral and let's find out all the distances of the sides and the diagonals. So first distance we can find out AB AB will be equals to under root of we can apply the distance formula so this is x1 minus x2 whole square so we can put the values this will be 1 minus minus 1 whole square plus this will be 0 minus 2 whole square and now we can solve this so this will be if you look here this will be 1 and negative of negative 1 will become positive 1 so this will be 2 whole square similarly this will be minus 2 whole square so this will come out to be 4 and plus 4 so the value of AB is coming out to be root 8. Let's find out the value of BC. This will be under root. Again put the values. This will be minus 1 
minus minus 3 whole square plus this is pi 1 minus pi 2 whole square so this will be 2 minus 0 whole square now let's solve this this will be minus 1 and this will be plus 3 so it will come out to be 2 square plus 2 square under root of 4 plus 4 and you will find out that it is again coming out to be root 8 so let's find the distance cd cd will be equals to under root of same formula the distance formula and let's put the coordinates so this will be minus 3 minus minus 1 whole square plus again put the value of y1 minus y2 so this will be 0 minus minus 2 whole square and let's solve this so this will be minus 3 negative of negative 1 will be become plus 1 so this will be minus 3 plus 1 will become minus 2 and minus 2 whole square is 4 so this will be 4 and plus this will again become 0 plus 2 and 2 square is again 4 so the length CD is also coming out to be root 8 let's find the final length DA again put the same formula and put the values this will be minus 1 minus 1 whole square plus put the value of pi 1 minus y2 so this will be minus 2 minus 0 whole square now if you solve that this will be minus 1 minus 1 will be minus 2 whole square 4 and this will again be 4 so this will come out to be 4 plus 4 and again its value is coming out to be root 8 so we can say by these four values that it must be a rhombus now we have to check for square so we have to find the diagonals also so let's calculate the diagonal length let's calculate ac first just put the values in the distance formula so this will be 1 minus minus 3 whole square and plus this will be 0 minus 0 whole square now if we solve this this will be 1 plus 3 so this will be 4 and 4 square will be 16 so we can write it down as root 16 or 4 and let's find out the length of the diagonal BD as well so BD we can apply the distance formula again and put the values so the length of BD will be minus 1 minus minus 1 whole square plus this will be 2 minus minus 2 whole square and if we solve this here minus 1 and minus 1 will get cancelled and this will become 2 plus 2 will be 4 so this will be root 16 and again the length of the diagonal is coming out to be 4 so we can say that all the side lengths are equal and also the length of diagonals are also equal so we can say that this quadrilateral is a square so we can also plot the values so here is a graph and we can plot all these values let's plot them a b c and d and if we join a b b c c d and d a you will find out that we'll get a square here now we'll apply the same concept on the quadrilateral whose coordinates are given to be a b c d so first of all we'll just draw the arbitrarily quadrilateral by plotting the points arbitrarily and then we'll find all the side lengths and the diagonal lengths and then comment whether it's a quadrilateral and whether it's one of square parallelogram rectangle and rhombus so let's calculate a b first so a b we can apply a distance formula a b will be equals to under root of x2 x1 minus x2 whole square plus y1 minus y2 whole square so just put the values so this will be minus 3 minus 3 
whole square and y1 minus y2 so put the values this will be 5 minus 1 whole square to solve this this will come out to be under root of if you look at this this is minus 3 minus 3 this will be 6 6 square will be 36 and plus this is 5 minus 1 5 minus 1 is 4 4 square is 16 so this will come out to be root 52 and if we factorize root 52 this will be 4 into 13 so we can write down 2 root 13 similarly let's calculate the side length BC by applying the distance formula so we'll just put the values so this will be 3 minus 0 whole square plus and y1 minus y2 y1 minus y2 means 1 minus 3 whole square so this will be 3 square will be 9 and minus 2 whole square will be 4 so calculate it this will be 9 plus 4 and we'll get the length bc to be root 30 now let's calculate the length cd again put the values so the values will be 0 minus minus 1 whole square plus put the y1 minus y2 so this will be 3 minus minus 4 whole square now if we solve this this will be 0 plus 1 whole square so this will be 1 plus and this is 3 negative over negative 4 will be positive 4 4 plus 3 will be 7 7 square is 49 so this will come out to be root 50 now finally let's calculate the length da just put the values so this will be minus 1 minus minus 3 whole square and plus this will be minus 4 minus 5 whole square now if we solve this this will be coming minus 1 plus 3 this will be 2 2 square is 4 so this will be 4 plus this is minus 9 whole square and this will come out to be 81 so if you calculate this will coming out to be 85 and now if you observe at all these four lengths none of the lengths are equal so it is satisfying none of our conditions so we'll calculate the diagonals as well to find any relation so let's calculate the length of diagonal ac first put the values so this will be minus 3 minus 0 whole square plus put the value of y1 minus y2 so y1 minus y2 will be 5 minus 3 whole square so if you solve this this will be 3 square plus 2 square so put the values this will be 9 plus 4 equals to root 13 and now if you observe at this length AC diagonal and BC these two lengths are coming to be equal let's find out the final diagonal as well so this is BD again put the values this will be 3 minus minus 1 whole square plus put the values 1 minus minus 4 whole square so if you solve this this will be 4 square plus 5 square so this will come out to be 16 plus 25 or we can say root 41 and now if you observe closely you will find out that this length AC and this length BC if we add these two length will be getting the length AB so this will be something like that if I take out length AB and you will find out that AB will be comprising of the sum AC and CB. So we can say that this point C is lying on the line AB. Or if we 
plot all these points on the graph, you will visualize it very easily. So let's plot it A, B, C and D. So you will find out that this point C is coming in between A, B such that this point is lying on the line A, B. So if we join all these points, you will find out that no quadrilateral will be formed. Now in this case, you can see that out of four points, three points that is A, B, C are coming out to be collinear. So we will say that these four points will not form any quadrilateral.